Here is the flatting and coloring process for the Batman family piece that uh, Ryan, Ryan Benjamin had uh, went nuts on as usual. Um, this was a, definitely a monster of a piece to, to be able to color, uh, but it was all done entirely in Photoshop. So I wanted to kind of go through that whole process of how I went to start to finish on this piece. Um, it was done on, flats were done by, I'll show you the flats in just a second. Uh, the flats were done by my lovely assistant and beautiful wife, uh, Gia Mina. And I did all the color again, all in, all in the same software. So um, we got to definitely jump in. So the file that I got from Ryan was actually a bitmap. And then I just converted that over um, to see it's in grayscale right now, but it would, it would have been in bitmap, eight bits fine. Um, I went in and uh, converted this on over to RGB because I colored this whole thing in RGB. Uh, to select all, copy, paste this into its own alpha. That way I can start uh, using this in the layers. Pick a brand new layer. And uh, default color black is perfectly fine. Um, just press D. Load this up. And you're going to push and delete this in. And then go back to the original uh, background that you have from your bitmap or grayscale image. And go ahead and drop that in. Uh, before flatting, I typically check all of the tools that I'm going to be using. So this anti-alias needs to be turned off on uh, all of the tools. And you make sure bucket. Yep, so anti-alias is off on bucket, wand, and lasso. So from here, I generally will just uh, make just a basic background color for the whole thing, just so I can start separating out elements. And then from here, I would go on in and uh, begin to drop in the flats. So I try to go global for each character. So I try to get the entire selection primarily uh, in on uh, in one move. Well, not necessarily one move, but try to make sure it's all separated out. I am not going to be doing this perfect, but just so you can get a general idea. <laughs> Uh, my, my wife is definitely better at this stuff, and I, I trust her to uh, do, uh, do the flats because I uh, get a little too quick on some of these things. So she definitely uh, uh, knocks it out of the park on 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 all the flats that um, whenever I'm doing like uh, comic style work. And uh, just really quickly, I'll just do this because you'll see the actual flats that she did. I didn't want to spend too much time since this is a longer video. Uh, going through every single section of flats uh, and every every detail, but the time lapse that's included in this video will um, also show part of her flat process as she's uh, moving through these characters. And um, that way, you'll be able to just make out a little bit more of what she does. And uh, before we get this to, to my hands, I start to paint things up. But you can see what I'm doing on this one.
have a couple of options. Like I think it's a like holofoil and matte as well, so you can go through that. Okay, so and let me um, kind of go through some of the layers so you can kind of see all this stuff that's happening in here. This is my foreground. I'll turn off the background just so you can see just the character stuff that I'm going on. see all the layers. I try my best to label. I'm, I'm pretty bad at that. Um, but for the video, I want to label as many as I could so everyone can see uh, what I'm doing. So we, we uh, pick up a few things. There we go. So here's the, the painting ones that I used uh, to, to do all these different things. splatter technique that was going on within Ryan's work um, because you can see here in, in the line art I have it here but I didn't want to lose that I wanted to be able to kind of complement that with color splatter so I believe I have the alpha in here if I don't yeah there it is I inverted his his line art and so you get like the negative of what this all looks like and to do that effect I would just go right back to here load this up so you get that marching ants that I always hide and I would um the splatter it should be on a layer I believe it is I hope I put it on a layer so you can see it uh, maybe it is let me just go through for these layers really quick yeah that's what I get for uh not labeling that layer so let me <laughs> figure out where I placed it pretty sure it's in here somewhere um let me see. If it's not, it's no big deal. I can, oh wait, background. That would probably help if I went to that section. Yeah. So, and I actually did label it, just didn't even look at it. Uh, so <laughs> that section is right here and you can just see, I just airbrushed in, um, just an orange, just could bounce off of that, uh, let me make another layer really quick. Oops. But uh, okay. hey, let me load this up. I don't need that. Uh, okay. And hide. And I bring up a paintbrush, uh, and then I would just airbrush in these sections. You don't have to do everything. You can see I wasn't very selective of where I brought it in, but it's only affecting 
the areas that I brought in from his selection. So, you know, I can contract it down if I really wanted more, a little bit uh, tighter on that selection of his line art. So it's a little bit more locked into exactly what he's got. Since it is above the line art, if I, if I uh, inverted that or you know, any kind of stuff, it would, it would take effect on the line art. So you actually see that it's you know, being affected there, but since I load it, it's only constricted to what's selected. So I have a, a lot more freedom to go through and do things like that. Um, and if I wanted to, you know, swap out color, hue saturation, you can just go through, slide through different colors that you that you would like, and make those adjustments there. Uh, globally, I I tend to use color gels to help tie my color together. You'll see like these, uh, if you've seen some of our previous videos, you'll see a section that's just like CC. Um, that's for color correction. So you kind of get an idea of what I would do to bring a little bit more harmony to the colors. So if I start to see things should get a little too lost or needs to have a little bit more adjustment, I would just do stuff like this to help tie my colors together. Um, that way it feels a little bit more cohesive, especially in the background. You can see that difference. If I had that off and this one off you can see how it would look before i applied color correction um, very jarring to me and I, I i just wanted to be able to find a way to uh, adjust that so there's a little bit more harmony and subtleties in these areas so the characters would pop a lot more and that's you know they're they're, they're the the focus for this piece so i need to make sure that they pop so you can see it here um and um definitely i wanted to make sure that you can at least see a little bit more uh, of the process behind this before we uh, jump into the time lapse. You can just spend the, uh, the next uh, uh, while watching that. And um, if there's any questions, please uh, feel free to ask some questions in the comments. I would definitely answer as many as I can. And um, yeah, definitely thanks so much for checking out this part of the, pro of the video. This is all the general process and how I handle this stuff. And uh, if you're interested in any of the prints, again, I'll leave a link for this piece. I've, and uh, it's on uh, the comic book uh, bootcamp site. And um, there you'll see Brian has a whole section in the shop for it. Or if you'd like to purchase anything from my site, it's just TonyWashingtonArt.com. And uh, if you sign up to my mailing list, um, you'll get 20% off your first print. So um, thank you so much. And all the music you're going to hear right now is also from me too. So I hope you enjoy it. There's a... Uh, Definitely, you know, there's going to be links as well in the description if you'd like to stream some of this stuff online. Uh, so thanks so much for checking out this video. And here is the uh, time lapse. Take care.
shadow I emerge, battle the urge Fine lines channeling the path of the purge I face myself with no face and no shell From the shallows of the dwell deep hell on the verge I, I search within for the courage To keep hope alive with these open eyes The wounds are never healed, sever the nerves Until there's nothing left to feel, unsocialized The moon, the moon sets, I, I can't seem to rise Every day a little heavier, I'm breaking the ties Black butterflies, the rebirth of death A reprise of guys, leader to the other side The reaper of lies, the keeper of the pain The seeker of the truth in a world full of vain Asleep in the mind, and yet awake in the brain I move along the shadows and I'm breaking the chains Break the chains Thirsty, the hunger's divided, I'm standing alone at the edge of the tide. 